when we founded ISGEM, we really had, I think, a bold vision to create something new, to create a new model of how uh, LGBT health could be centered within a university, how um, science could contribute to advancing um, the health and well-being of our community. I really feel like the quality of the science that's done here is um, unimpeachable. It's, it's, it's really uh, amazing and I'm, I'm really so um, honored to lead an organization that has so many people who are doing just such important work. I've been with the team for eight years, back when we were still the impact program and not yet an institute. It's amazing to see how much we've grown over the years. When I first joined the team, there were about 12 of us. Now there are nearly 100 of us. Our research has also expanded over the years. Along with being leaders in HIV prevention research for young gay men, we now have studies that are tailored to bi plus people, queer women, and trans and non-binary folks. I've been able to be part of the founding of the Institute and be part of its growth. In the last five years, uh, ISGEM has grown significantly in terms of the number of staff, uh, students, postdocs, and associated faculty. But more importantly than the number of people, we've grown in terms of our programmatic breadth and our research agendas. How has ISGEM grown over the past five years? I mean, we've more than doubled in size, both in terms of staff, um, but also grant dollars. I also have seen us move into other different exciting areas of research. We also are building out some of our clinical partnerships. When I reflect on the last five years of the Institute, I um, always think about the incredible passion and energy and hard work that um, all of our team does at ISGEM. It's a space where I have been not only allowed to be myself, but have been encouraged to be myself. And that is not just showing up as a queer, transmasculine, gender nonconforming person, but also just somebody who holds um, values around the work we do with community very deeply. And I think that I have been able to be uncompromising in my integrity. I really love that the Institute has been a home, not just for me, for my team, where everyone can be themselves, be open about their sexual identity, gender identity, and just freely talk about these issues, which is a unique experience for most people, especially for people who are new to working in research or academia. Yeah, ISGEM and the predecessors of ISGEM have meant everything to my career. Um, I would be nowhere in my career without Brian and without um, the work of our collaborators. ISGEM has meant a lot to me over all these years because it's where I've grown and come into my own as a professional. ISGEM attracts amazing people and I feel lucky to work with such a talented, driven, and thoughtful team. ISGEM is just a very special, unique place. There's really nothing like it. Um, and I know that it means a lot to all of us and to the field. I really appreciate that ISGEM gave me the ability to start my own research program, the Evaluation Data Ingression Technical Assistance Program, or EDIT. This has been a, a huge component of my research. It's been great to be able to focus specifically on these topics and to be able to do meaningful work in line with the community. The Institute isn't any one person. It is an ideal that's shared by a community of diverse and passionate individuals who are committed to improving the health and the well-being of sexual and gender minority communities through research. We had many organizations that we worked with as ISGEM was founded, um, but that's just accelerated. Um, you know, we continue to be a resident partner of Center on Halstead. Many of us worked with organizations like Howard Brown for many years and continue to grow and strengthen those relationships. I hope that we continue to break into um, new areas of health um, that impact um, the SGM community and that we also continue to um, expand the groups of folks um, that we work with in the SGM community and really trying to understand 
the intersection of sexual orientation, gender identity, um, and race and ethnicity, and how those things come together to impact health. Really, I'm looking forward to the next five years for the expansion of the program to see how much more work we can do in terms of measurement, focusing on new populations, including intersex and asexual populations, and really expanding our reach from just the Chicagoland area to more national scope. In the next five years, I imagine that we will continue to expand in terms of the research we do and the communities that we serve. We are also at a moment in history where many folks are ready for big systemic changes to improve the health and well-being of marginalized and underserved communities. I think that ISGEM can have a role in making this a reality through our research and connections in the community. And in particular, I'm interested in growing the Institute's investment in building interdisciplinary connections and community-engaged research. My hope is that ISGEM will reflect the world that we want to create. I really think that the opportunities are endless, really. I think it's, it's uh, where we see ISGEM go over the next five years is honestly only limited by our imaginations.